Yeah, I watched a little you bit. Watched, but no. You <laughs> watched. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> and um. Do you think this is going to hurt more, you or me? I imagine it's unlikely to hate either one of us. Well, then let's keep them guessing. Ain't man to that. Cameron Proctor here with Big Gold Belt Media. We have uh, Warushe Opia and Jamie Lawson. How are you ladies doing today? Ah, Lovely. How good, are you? good, 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 good. I got to actually talk to you earlier last week at the red carpet in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Hope you all are doing well since then. It's only been like three days, but I'm excited right. to talk to you for a second time. This should be very, yeah. very fun. Yeah. yeah. So I just want to ask, I guess for a lot of the viewers out there, I was, I've been able to actually see the whole entire season, eight episodes, um, which is absolutely amazing so far. Um, can you just give an idea out there for the viewers of how this one is different from all the stories of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King that we've heard over the past years? Mm, go ahead. Um, well, <laughs> the reason, part of the reason why Jamie and I decided to do this project is because it's told in a slightly different way. And this way is the fact that it is also including the women yeah. as equal uh, as equal characters in these stories. You know, a lot of the times what we've seen historically of these two iconic men, it's just them and the movement. But in this series, we get to see the uh, more of an idea of what the women got to do mm -hmm. the parts the women played how influential they were in these men's lives um in the public eye behind the scenes at home um and we also see them in a more rounded form not just mm -hmm. as uh pu public figures but as husbands as uh friends of lovers as fathers and we just get to see them as the people yeah. who are off the t-shirt and off the posters but as yeah. actual human beings yeah. which they were and you know a lot of the times we put them on a pedestal um and see them as larger than life but they were regular people who walk yeah. the face of the earth who chose to do great things yeah we get the in-betweens yes the in-between moments in this series not just the iconic uh scenes that we know but what all the questions and 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 doubts and ideas that led up to the moments that we come to know Sure. Yeah. And I, I definitely feel the same way. Um, just watching the series, I, I always learned in grade school and learning about Malcolm X and, you know, uh, Martin Luther King, you never really heard too much about Coretta and also Betty Shabazz, which they're such a monumental part to their story as well. And I think uh, Warushi said it best um, as one of the lines that you had is that the women are the backbones of every movement, I believe. Right. Mm -hmm. And that is a hundred percent true for sure. Yeah. I know. I, 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 yeah. I watched a little you bit. Watched, but no. you watched. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. <laughs> and um, I think you ladies just did such an amazing job. I have to give you your flowers a hundred percent because you nailed these roles. And just, just to go into another question about um, the roles as well. Um, do you remember when you got the call that you got these roles and where were you and who was the first person you called? Oh, you begging on memory. Uh, I know. Do you really? Yes. Okay. I was at home in my okay. bedroom and I called my mom and I'm crying. And my mom's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> and I said, no, it's good to hear his mommy. It's good to hear his mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, I'm Coretta. And she went, praise the Lord. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's great. So that's, that's great. Yeah, I remember that. It was quite epic, actually. Yeah. I can't believe it. I was shaking. I definitely, I definitely, my mother's definitely the first person I told. I just best. don't know where I was. Mm -hmm. And my memory's also not the best thing. It's, it's honestly, it's a harder question than, than you think. I mean, I, yeah. I can't remember what yeah. I ate for breakfast yesterday. So that's my fault. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but honestly, this is, uh, this is the last question before we get ready to wrap up. Um, and I just wanted to know, working with all these different amazing actors and actresses on this series, who is your favorite person to work with? And don't feel pressured to say one another because you're right next to each other as well. So <laughs> I would, I would I mean, feel you that way. Say me. I know. I was like, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we only got the one scene right. together and that's right. special. Yeah. So sure. that, you don't, you know, no, that's, that's, um, that's a special situation. Who was your favorite? You say first now. Let's see what you're on. Well, you know, honestly, it is Aaron. I mean, I spent most of my... So not me. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it, I, I mean, I spent most of my time um, with Aaron and we really worked to build such a, such a chemistry and an intimacy that I think was very respectful to who Malcolm and Betty were, right? Sure. I mean, the show in general doesn't dip into any kind of salacious anything um, anyway. And I think the temptation often with showing the in-between moments is to try and be raunchy or salacious or anything like that. And nobody ever had that approach. And especially with Aaron and I, we we we, we spent a lot of time just crafting how did this married couple function both in public and then in private. That was very right. important for us, especially right. because of their faith. There are certain restrictions to how they can express their love in public. And so crafting and, and doing all of that kind of homework, it was just, it was wonderful. And also he made me feel safe. You know, this is not an easy task. This is not an easy role. And to have a, a partner that you can work opposite of who makes you feel safe to take risks and to go there and to carry the weight and be willing to carry the weight with you. Mm -hmm. um, I don't take that for granted. I don't take it lightly. Um, I couldn't have asked for anybody better. Well, my favorite person was Kelvin yeah. Harrison Jr. Anyway, <laughs> he's incredible and he's transformative. Yeah. And honestly, it was such a joy to work with him because we uh, fostered a, a friendship outside uh, work and mm. it translates on screen as well because I imagine Coretta and um, Martin to be to have been best friends yeah. as well as lovers as well as partners and all that stuff and so we were able to keep that friendship um, and that's also what helps us balance each other out you know constantly checking in on each other mm. are you okay how are you doing how are you feeling sure. and uh, we would actually work on some of our scenes um, together at you know um we live in the same we stayed in the same building and so we would just be like okay let's talk about how we want to do this so when we got on set we knew exactly what we were doing and I really appreciate that and don't take it for granted and he's one of the I would say he's one of the best scene partners partners I've ever had in yeah. my career oh that's summer. gonna make him feel really good I know yeah yeah that's amazing <laughs> take that <laughs> well, I'm going to plug this in so make sure everybody at home checks out MLK uh, genius uh, premiering on National Geographic at nine o'clock, eight o'clock central. Um, and then it'll be streaming the next day on Disney plus and Hulu ladies. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time to talk thank to me today. You. Wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you.